Hello friends, this video on algebra part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, he, in the first section, let's see that how can we make use of algebra to write rules or to make formulas. So, let us take an example to see where do we need to write rules or formulae. Let's say that if I tell you that the cost of one book is rupees 20. So, what would be the cost of two books? So, obviously, one book is 20. So, two books would be 20 plus 20. That is rupees 40. What about the cost of three books? It would be 20 plus 20 plus 20. Or we can say 20 multiplied by 3 because there are 3 books. So, this would be rupees 60. Now, for one book, two books, three books, four, five, six is also fine. But if I ask you to find out the cost for some 625 books. So, you know, when it becomes huge, when the numbers become more, then what happens? You have to add, add 20 that many times. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus. Continue doing that for 625 times. That is not a feasible option. So, in this case, what will you do? If for let, Let's say that for n number of books. And this n could be anything. n could be 100. It could be 10. It could be 625. It could be 1015. It n could be anything. Any number. So, for n number of books, what would be the total cost? The total cost would be 20 because 20 is the cost of one book multiplied by n because that is what we have been doing. For one book it was 20 into 1. For two books it was 20 into 2. For three books it was 20 into 3. For four it would be 20 into 4. So for n books the cost would be 20 into n. So 20 into n is nothing but 20 n. So if I ask you to find out the cost of a book, let's say that if you say, if you make a rule or if you make a formula like this, that cost of a book is given by 20n where n is the number of books. Now if I ask you what is the cost of one book, so one for one book n will be 1. So when you are talking about one book, n is 1. You are talking about two books, n is 2. You are talking about three books, n is 3. So now the, the concept became very simple. You just need to remember the cost is 20n. Now you put the value of n, whatever you feel like and you can find out the cost of those many books. So you see the moment you write a rule, the entire concept becomes simpler. Now you do not have this mess of adding 20 those many times. So you just have a formula, just put the value of n and that's it. So what is this n? This n is nothing but a variable because the value of n changes as the number of books changes. Let's look at this example. So Radha is drawing a dot rangoli, a beautiful pattern of lines joining dots with chalk powder. She has nine dots in a row. So something like this. So there are nine dots in one row. How many dots will her rangoli have for R rows? So what is this R? This R is a variable. It basically it is basically trying to ask that what would be the rule that you can find out the number of dots in any number of rows. So in one row, there are nine dots. Right? So this is one row. So how much would there be in two rows? So in two rows, you would have two, nine into two dots. In three rows, you would have nine into three dots. So therefore, for R rows, how many dots you would have? So for R rows, you would have nine into R dots. Nine into R is nothing but nine R dots. So with this formula, you should be able to find out the number of dots for n number of rows. So the next part is how many dots are there in 8 rows. So 8 rows means the value of r is 8. So put r is equal to 8. So what do you get? 9 into 8 which is 72 dots. Similarly, what would be the number of dots for 10 rows? So for 10 rows again in a similar way you put r is equal to 10. So this becomes 9 into 10 which is 90 dots. So in this fashion you can find out the total number of dots for 8 and 10 rows. 
festival time during um, diwali or during any other festival it, it's a very common thing that your mother prepare different sweets right so let's assume that your mother has made laddus and she gives some laddus to the guests and family members still five laddus remain so if the number of laddus mother gave away is i l how many laddus did she make so in this case we do not know the exact number of laddus that your mom prepared but we know that she gave away l l number of laddus to the guests and family members so that means obviously when she could give away these many number of laddus so she would have prepared these many number of laddus plus she is left with five laddus so five laddus are still with her so total how much did she prepare the number which she gave away to the guests plus the number that is left with her so l plus 5 is the total number of laddus that she had prepared thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you